Hi guys, it's uh, Access Real here at Supernova Comic Con and Gaming and we're talking to Juliana Harkavy. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, really good. Good. Now, this is your first uh, Supernova in Australia experience. It is. How did Sydney go? Sydney was amazing. Um, it's, it's a really cool city and the people have been excellent and yep. Perth is a little bit of slower uh, pace which I like a especially at the, the way, little out of the way no it's nice though at the end yeah. of the tour you know slowing it down yeah. it's good oh cool mm -hmm. um, now acting work for yourself started at quite a young age um, can you tell us a little bit about what it meant to you to, to be wanting to pursue it um, quite young and, and and what sort of inspired you to, to follow it yeah well it, it's true I started I started acting when I was nine but I wanted to act since I was probably like three to five right. Um, so it's been a long time and um, it's incredible that this has sort of happened now that I'm in my 30s because it's been many, many years of, of doing it. But it's just, it's a super fun job. Yeah. So That's um, impressive to be so young and have such a drive to, to do something like that. That's I think I just wanted to like play make-believe, <laughs> you know. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Now fast forward a few years and yeah. you got involved on The Walking Dead. Yeah. And um, that was a really big success um, already before you were involved. It, yeah. it found its um, momentum there. But what was that like? How did that opportunity come about? And um, what was interesting and enticing about it? Well, um, it, I just I had an audition. We were living in Florida at the time. And uh, there were a few projects coming through, but it wasn't anything, you know, big. And yeah. so when we uh, got a call for Walking Dead, it was it was it was a big deal. And I shot my audition in my mom's uh, kitchen at her apartment and found out two days later that, that I'd booked it and it was a big deal. It was probably the biggest thing that I had booked in my career at that point. Yeah. yeah. Was, was it a welcoming cast and crew when you got there? Extremely, extremely. Yeah, um, yeah Andrew Lincoln was one of the most welcoming uh, leads of a show and, and mm. he you know came and said hello the first day and it was, oh, it was very cool. cool. He taught me a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, Arrow came along. Um, can you tell us a bit about the um, the rehearsals for that? And, and given the type of role um, that you were looking at, was there was kind of fight choreography rehearsals as well? Was it mostly acting rehearsals? Yeah, we have both. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of uh, well. You have to rehearse a lot with the action stuff because yeah. you could get hurt. And um, you also have to do rehearsals with stunt doubles. So kind of like double rehearsals for action. And then, uh, and then we do one rehearsal at the beginning of every scene where you just read through the lines. And then one where you, you stand where you want to stand and you feel the scene. And then one where you kind of put them all together. Okay. Yeah. Right. And, and how was that um, process? Did, did you have to wait a long time before you heard um, after auditions and things like that? Uh, not for Arrow. Arrow yeah. happened really quickly. I think like something like four days after I auditioned, uh, oh, okay. I, I, like, I had an audition, a call back the next day, and then four days later we were like moving to Canada. Yeah, okay. so, <laughs> yeah it was very Big quick. Move. And yeah. um, what did you know about where the character might go in terms of um, you know, Black Canary and the relationship with Vincent Vigilante and, and those sorts of things? Did you get much lead time or is it all a surprise as you're going through doing the shoots? It's, yeah, it's pretty much a surprise. Yeah. I mean, we know a week or two before what's, what's happening, unless it's something like monumental for the character, we don't really find out early. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think I found out about Vince like the week before it happened, okay. so okay. a little time to prepare. And yeah. Yeah. Grieve. Um, <laughs> in the latest season, mm. um, yourself and some of your cast members, you got to do some really different things. They um, put you guys at ends with some of the other main characters. Right. And you had a lot of really um, kind of dramatic material and conflict going on there. Mm -hmm. That must have been pretty refreshing and, and interesting to do. It was definitely interesting. I mean, it was uh, 23 episodes is a lot of episodes, yeah. so um, it's always good to switch it up and, um, you know, have, have a new storyline. But I think we were also happy to kind of make amends at the end because yeah. what I really like most of all is working with my cast and uh, and being a team. Yeah, and was it a diff bit different doing the um, the fight stuff with with your cast members, which you wouldn't normally be doing that? Yeah, I'd like yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like with Stephen. <laughs> yeah, we were apologizing <laughs> to each other. Yeah, okay. Um, Sorry, I don't mean it. I really <laughs> love you. Yeah. Um, and just to wrap up, I understand that you have quite a passion for dog rescue work and, and that sort of stuff. Can you yeah. give us a bit of a spiel about your passion there yes. and what you do? <laughs> yeah. So um, we have three rescue dogs and uh, we found, well, I, they've really found all of us. Like one, you know, we were going out to get some milk and found one and another mm. one was on the side of the road. Another one was in the swamp. <laughs> um, I had no intention of having any dogs. I can't say no. I can't say no. Um, but 
uh, we have two pit bulls as well, and what really struck me was the stigma behind the dogs and how we almost got evicted from an apartment because we had a pit bull. Mm. Um, so just these incredibly loving, amazing animals that had no homes that you know would have been put to death. They're free. Anybody who wants a dog, I just I really, really recommend getting a dog. I also really recommend getting a pit bull because they have a stigma of being. Uh, you know, like mean, but they're actually the sweetest dogs and they're put down more often because mm. of that stigma. So everybody adopt your animals. <laughs> All right, um, so you heard it um, from Axis Real at Supernova with Juliana. I hope you have a great show for you the too. rest of the weekend. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It was really nice Thanks talking to you. Bye.